Hello and welcome to the introduction to matrices and matrix multiplication part 2. I am hoping that you will have seen part 1 in order to make sense of part 2. Okay, now here are the questions. There are two parts to this uh, question here. And uh, in uh, part A, uh, she checks out her exam paper and then thinks, well, she could get more marks either by doing 4 from X and 3 from Y, or she could do 3 from uh, section X and 5 from section Y, or she could do 4 from X and then 4 from Y. Now, your project or your problem is to write a 3 by 2 matrix based on this information and call it a choice matrix. Okay, now for B, now each question in section X is is worth 12 marks and each question in section Y is awarded 15 marks. So what is her best choice? Okay, now the matrix will be a 3 by 2 matrix, you got choice 1, 4 from X and 3 from Y, choice 2, uh, 3 from X and 5 from Y and choice 3, 4 from X and 4 from Y. Now that's a 3 by 2 matrix. Now, for the marks matrix, we've got a 1 by 2 uh, matrix. So, for this to work, if you, if you have a look at my video on part 1, for this to work, you cannot do 1 by 2 matrix times 3 by 2 matrix. That wouldn't work. So, to do that, you need to rearrange your choice matrix. Okay, as I said earlier uh, in the last slide, we need the two internal numbers to be the same. So, hence the need to change from a 3 by 2 to a 2 by 3 matrix. Now we've got the two is the same. Moving on, now we need to find uh, how many marks she scored in each section. And to do that, for instance, in this case, we multiply 12 by 4 because each question in section X has got 12 marks and because she asked that 4, we do 12 by 4 to get 48. Uh, similarly, each question for section Y is worth 15 marks uh, because she did 3 questions or she, she proposes to do 3 questions to so do 15 times 3 which give us 45 and so on for choice 1 and then choice 2 and then choice 3. So for choice 1, we have 48 plus, four, plus 45, and then for choice 2, we have 36 plus 45, and for choice 3, we got 48 plus 60. So the maximum she can score from choice 1 is 93, and the maximum she can score from choice 2 is 81, and the maximum for choice 3 is 108. I hope all that made some sense to you and thank you for watching. Please let me know if you want me to upload any more topics and I should do my best to oblige. Thank you, goodbye and good luck.